What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm reviewing the Muse Ass device. This is the latest in Muse's line of meditation products except this one includes sleep tracking. It's a simple headband you wear to bed similar in design to the Dream 2. And since the company Dream is no longer selling to consumers, I figured I would give the Muse Ass a try to see if it's the next best thing on the market. So after nearly a month of testing out the Muse S device, I'll be sharing my honest take on how it works, the pros and cons, and whether I think this device is worth the $300 price tag. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So as a quick disclaimer, I actually bought the Muse S device back in May of 2020, but I returned it shortly thereafter since it didn't do any overnight sleep tracking. Since then, the company made some drastic improvements to their sleep tracking features, and so they sent me a new device to test out, and that's the one I will be reviewing in this video. So that being said, Let's kick things off with a quick overview of how the Muse S actually works. And to start, the device is really designed to be a meditation companion for sleep with two major functions. One is to help you fall asleep faster. And number two is to actually capture your brainwave data while you sleep. And as you'll see here, it's really a simple and lightweight headband with adjustable straps designed to be worn at night. But nothing's stopping you from wearing it during the day too, since it does include all the same meditation features as the Muse 2. So the band itself is made of stretch fabric, so it's really lightweight and super breathable. And like the Muse 2, there are multiple sensors woven into this band, including an accelerometer, EEG, PPG, pulse oximeter, and gyroscope. There are three sensors on the forehead and two behind the ears, which you'll see when you do a signal check. And I'll be talking a little bit more about these signal checks and the proper fitting of the band in just a sec. But in addition to the headband, the Muse S also includes this chargeable pod, which snaps into place on the band, and basically serves to power the whole thing. It gets up to 10 hours of battery life, so you definitely have to charge it each day like you would with the Dream 2. So next, we move on to the app and the special sleep features you get with the Muse S device. So after you connect the band to your phone's Bluetooth, you'll then open up the Muse app and toggle over to the section labeled sleep. And from here, you have a number of different sleep journeys to choose from, everything ranging from guided meditations to nature soundscapes. Now the guided meditations on their app do have predetermined timeframes, but you can actually manually adjust the length of the different soundscapes up to about four hours. And even though I'm in Hawaii, and pretty much surrounded by water all the time. My favorite soundscape was the ocean rhythm. I just found it the most soothing and relaxing for bed. So once you make this selection, you're then prompted to do a signal check before you begin. And this is sadly where I ran into some pretty big technical issues. On average, it took me 10 to 15 minutes to get all five signals working properly, which at bedtime, is pretty frustrating. I tried dampening my hair, putting my hair up, trying to hold the band in place with my sleep mask, you name it, I tried it. And yet I still had the same signal issues every single time. So either my head is too small or my hair is too thick, but regardless, just something to be aware of if you're gonna buy one of these devices because this is actually an issue I never had with the Dream 2. But once you finally make that connection, all you really have to do is lay down, listen to the track, and drift off as the Muse S really takes over sleep tracking from there. So in the morning, you get a full sleep report that includes your total sleep score and sleep stages, your deep sleep intensity, your position changes, your heart rate, and your overall stillness throughout the night. And I'll get to the accuracy of those stats in just a sec, but I gotta say, I was pretty underwhelmed by this sleep report. What I was really hoping for was to see a comprehensive report of all my brainwave activity since this device does use EEG sensors. Instead, what you get are some very basic sleep graphs, including a hypnogram that paints an overview of your different sleep stages using colors, but doesn't actually give you a concrete percentage or number of hours to work with like you would get with the Dream 2 or Aura Ring. So in my opinion, not very useful for analyzing all your sleep data. Now their deep sleep intensity graph is a little bit better because of the visuals 
with these peaks and valleys, but their point system seems rather arbitrary. And again, there's no concrete numbers to work with. It's just a simple graph. And as you'll see in the graph from this particular night, there was a huge flat line between 3 a.m and 4 a.m., meaning the headband must have lost signal and therefore didn't collect any data from that time. And unfortunately, this wasn't a one-off thing. In fact, these lost signals happened to me a majority of the nights that I wore this, making it a much less reliable sleep tracker than the Dream 2, even though it was slightly more comfortable to wear. Now, the other sleep features included in this report include your heart rate, stillness, and overall position changes throughout the night. And I gotta say, I was probably most impressed by the position stats. Now, despite some of the data accuracy issues, my left side appears to be my dominant sleeping side, which makes a lot of sense because I was sleeping on the left side of the bed and I always tend to roll over to the side closest to the edge. Now, when it comes to accuracy, I only had my aura ring to compare, but still, the stats were pretty surprising. On average, the Muse S was off by one to two hours of total sleep time and off by nearly an hour for both my bedtime and my wake up time compared to the Aura Ring. And that's not even including the couple of outliers where my Muse S signal stopped working early on in the night, meaning my entire night recording was pretty much skewed. And for deep sleep, I was getting an average of about an hour and a half per night, according to my Aura Ring. And yet the Muse S's arbitrary point system gave me an average score of 26 points, which seems pretty terrible if it's out of 100. So again, not entirely sure what's going on with the accuracy of these deep sleep numbers with the Muse S. But where the Muse S and the Aura Ring were much closer in stats involved heart rate. So for the most part, the two devices were nearly identical when it comes to tracking my lowest heart rate average, and then only off by about four points for my total heart rate average. So as you can see, the total number of stats you get from the Muse S is pretty minimal, even though the price of this device is comparable to some of the big name players in the sleep tracking space. So that being said, there are some things the Muse does right, which leads me to the pros and cons of this device. So on the plus side, I've gotta say, the band is really comfortable to wear, even at night. So if you were debating between buying the Muse S or the Muse 2, I would definitely say it's worth the extra $75 for the Muse S simply because of comfort and design. The Muse S device makes meditating, sitting up or lying down much more relaxing and believe it or not, easier to get a signal check than that of the Muse 2. And even during sleep, I never had any major issues with the Muse S getting in my way or bothering me during sleep like I did with the Philips Smart Sleep headband. Now, as for the downsides, of course, my biggest complaint is signal tracking. If it didn't take so damn long for this thing to connect, I'd probably be using it every single night. But the fact that it took 10 to 15 minutes to get the signals processing just made it a huge barrier for me to wanna use it nightly. Not to mention the problems I had with it just staying in place on my head while I slept. And I was even using an eye mask to help keep it in place. Again, it may be due to the small size of my head, but I can't imagine that I am the only person with a small skull who's having these technical issues. I mean, with the Dream 2, the signal check took seconds and I never had issues with accessing my full sleep report the next day. And even though it's clunky to wear at times, I still think the Dream 2 really delivered on what it's designed for. So even though I would argue that the Muse S is actually more comfortable than the Dream 2, I still think they're only halfway there on the sleep tracking. And so therefore I would wait until their next generation before you pull the trigger on the Muse S as your Dream 2 replacement. Hopefully by then they've ironed out all of those signal quality issues and maybe even include more comprehensive sleep stats, including things like respiratory rate. So that's my take on the Muse S device for meditation and sleep. I think the technology around sleep bands is getting there, but it's still tricky because of this constant tug of war between comfort and accuracy. The Philips Smart Sleep headband was a lot less comfortable, but definitely better at overnight tracking. And with the Muse S, the opposite is true. Somehow the Dream 2 managed to create a device that pretty much excelled at both, but now that it is 
off the consumer market, I'm not entirely sure that there is a great alternative just yet. Of course, I will keep my eyes peeled for any new products that come into this ring, and I definitely welcome any suggestions or things you've heard in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And until next time, I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.